What's going on there guys, my name is Matt or Chewy as most of you will know me as and welcome to another video. Today I'm releasing something which will hopefully be a concise look at four Thrustmaster products in the hope it will give you a better idea as to which one may suit your needs the most. The four products we will be looking at today are the Thrustmaster T-Flight HOTAS X, the T-16000M, the TCA Airbus Edition and also the HOTAS Warthog. We will go over price, build quality, product features and adaptability. To those of you who aren't aware, the term HOTAS stands for Hands On Throttle and Stick. The main premise behind a HOTAS system is so that the pilot can operate the major functions of their aircraft whilst rarely having to take either hand away from the throttle quadrant or the joystick. Thrustmaster has been one of the leading hardware developers in HOTAS and joystick systems for a number of years now, offering a range of different choices, but which one is the best for you? Let's take a look. Starting with the cheapest of the four products we will cover today is the T-Flight HOTAS X. Released all the way back before 2010, this system is still incredibly popular with entry to intermediate level simmers over a decade later. The Thrustmaster website shows the T-Flight HOTAS X with a retail price of just under £60 or €70 Euros as of the date of recording this video. It features a single USB plug and play system with a detachable throttle control unit, 12 programmable buttons and 5 axes, a trigger for tow brakes or guns and a multi-directional hat switch. The build quality is quite frankly astounding for the price in my opinion and both the throttle and joystick ergonomically fit very nicely in both hands. One thing to note is that the product is designed for right-handed users primarily as the palm wrist on the joystick is positioned for the right hand as is the hat switch on the joystick for the right thumb. With the ability to detach the throttle control unit from the joystick, it allows for great adaptability as to whether you want to keep the system compact on your desk or give yourself some more room to manoeuvre. One criticism I have of the T-Flight HOTAS X would be the slight wiggle it has in the dead zone. However, this of course can be combated with the dead zone edits in software. Please note there are other variants than just the HOTAS X to work with a variety of different games consoles. Second in our list is the T16000M FCS HOTAS system. Retailing on the Thrustmaster website for just under £140 or €150, Euros, this product can also be bundled with the TFRP rudder pedals for under £200. With a fully ambidextrous joystick, the T16000M features the HEART Hall Effect Accurate Technology patented magnetic sensors, 16 action buttons with braille style physical button identification, an 8-way POV hat switch, 4 independent axes including twist rudder, an ergonomic trigger, SMART sliding motion advanced rail track technology, amongst a plethora of other bits of technology. The T16000M can be tweaked and fine-tuned in conjunction with other Thrustmaster hardware in the Target advanced programming software. Being naturally left-handed myself, I absolutely love the fact that the T16000M is ambidextrous. It takes a matter of minutes to be able to adapt the joystick for left-handed use and there is no compromise with thumb positioning as the buttons are replicated evenly on each side and the 8-way POV hat switch is in the middle of the joystick. With such a huge variety of options for assignable buttons, the options are virtually limitless to assign all the commands you could want for your aircraft. The build quality feels in line with the T-Flight HOTAS X, with weight also feeling similar. If I was to give the T-16000M a criticism, it would be that I wish it was easier to use the throttle quadrant on your right hand to follow suit with how ambidextrous the joystick is. Third up is the newest product of the Thrustmaster fleet, the TCA Airbus Edition. This can be purchased in a variety of different packages to suit your needs, be it just the side stick alone, the throttle quadrant or the quadrant add-on. Please note to use the quadrant add-on you must already have the quadrant to attach it to. The TCA side stick retails on the Thrustmaster website for £64.99 Great British Pounds, the quadrant for £89.99 and the add-on for £79.99. You can also purchase the side stick and the quadrant without the add-on together for $149.99. In addition to all of these, Thrustmaster has simultaneously released the TM flying clamp, which allows users to easily fix their Thrustmaster hardware to their desk 
without it having to take up valuable space on the desktop. This product is a really exciting venture for Thrustmaster as it is an officially licensed product created in conjunction with Airbus. The build quality and design style of the side stick is incredibly similar to the T16000M joystick, including the ability to switch the buttons around for ambidextrous usage. The throttle quadrant levers are able to be positioned into a reverse detent via two flappy paddles on the front side. On a side note, I asked a real world Airbus pilot what these flappy paddles are actually called with no response, so that's the official name I'm giving them now. The throttle quadrant levers alongside the speed brake and flap lever on the add-on are all easily edited on the underside of the quadrant to change the levels of friction and to also remove the detent zones. I personally keep the throttle and flap levers with their default detents for more realistic Airbus use, whilst making the speed brake lever smooth. My favourite thing about the TCA Airbus edition is how easy it is to set up with my favourite Airbus aircraft in Flight Simulator, the FS Labs A320 fleet in Prepared. Thrustmaster and FS Labs worked in conjunction with each other, meaning that the aircraft will detect the TCA system it's connected to your PC and ask if you want to automatically assign everything to the correct button or axis when you load up. The detent zones for the throttles may need some adjustment in the FS Labs, however in other aircraft like the Tollis Airbus in X-Plane 11, the detent zones worked perfectly for me without the need to edit. Last but by no means least, my baby, the Thrustmaster HOTAS Warthog. This has been Thrustmaster's flagship product now for many years and still continues to be the premium product Thrustmaster offers. I calculated just this last week that I've owned my HOTAS Warthog for four years and three months at the time of recording this video and it still performs as if I just got it out of the box today. Retailing on the Thrustmaster website at just under 400 Great British Pounds or 500 Euros, this is by far the most expensive product of the four we've looked at today. However, the build quality alone matches the price before getting into its features. Weighing in at over 14 pounds, it is also by far the heaviest of the four products shown today. Talking of features, the HOTAS Warthog is licensed by the United States Air Force as a replica of the A10C joystick and throttle. This means the system perfectly integrates with the A10C in Digital Combat Simulator out of the box without the need to assign any custom buttons. In recent years, Thrustmaster have expanded the HOTAS Warthog away from just the A10C and now have the FA18C Hornet grip add-on which can be hot switched with the default stick. Thrustmaster also offers an F16C Viper Grip 2 which although it does look incredibly similar to the A10C stick does have some differences that Thrustmaster successfully include. There are a stonking 55 fully programmable action switches, 19 of which are just on the joystick alone, 2 times 4 directional hat switches, a push and pull throttle system with disengageable afterburner, H-E-A-R-T integration, dual throttles featuring a metal hand rest, adjustable friction system, idle detent, 17 action buttons, one mouse uh, POV switch and one eight-way POV hat switch as well, a control panel with trim wheel, push and position switches and a joystick with realistic pressure buttons and triggers, a metal dual trigger, pinky buttons plus the 19 action buttons as mentioned earlier. The list goes on from there however I fear this video could turn into a feature length Hollywood film if I continue to list them all. Of course everything can be edited and tweaked with the Thrustmaster Target Advanced Programming Graphical Editor. So the big question that you all came here to hear, which one should you buy? I firmly believe that you get what you pay for with Thrustmaster. There is a vast array of products available with a matching array of prices to pay. And the more you are willing to spend, the better the product will be. It is honestly as simple as that. That being said, please don't let that take away from the fact that the lower end products are perfect for their target market. The T-Flight HOTAS X is perfect for newcomers to any form of flight simulation, be it aviating in airliners, helicopters, general aviation or combat aircraft. I actually have a good friend who recently told me he's been using the HOTAS X for over 10 years now without any want or need to upgrade it because he loves it so much. It is cheap, easy to set up and incredibly intuitive. 
If you are new to flight simulation, I truly believe this is the HOTAS system for you, especially if you are on a budget. The T16000M is a lot more of a complex system, which opens users to a whole new world of programmability. This may be overwhelming for some and could put people off if it seems too confusing. However, the beauty of an in-depth HOTAS system is that it allows simmers so much more ease to fly to the best of their ability if they choose to use the hardware to its full extent. The T16000M, I believe, really stands out for users mainly concentrating on combat simulation and just like the price, falls perfectly within the mid-range environment. It doesn't fall close to the build quality of the HOTAS Warthog, but you aren't paying anywhere near that same price. The TCA Airbus Edition is a relatively niche product designed for lovers of a particular aircraft type. However, if you do fly Airbus aircraft, it is the absolute perfect product for you. With the ability to be used in a multitude of different third-party Airbus planes, it really immerses you further into the flight deck and adds an extra layer of realism to your simulating experience. Although the side stick has many similarities to the T16000M, the throttle quadrant and add-on is what really sets the product aside from anything else for me, and I absolutely love using it. Finally, the HOTAS Warthog, with all of its various options for grips. This is primarily for those of you really looking to take your simulating experience seriously and to the next level. The build quality will ensure it lasts you for years, even with daily use. If you have the finances to pick the Warthog up, you certainly won't regret it. However, I would definitely advise ensuring you use it to its full potential, otherwise you are really missing out. The HOTAS Warthog is again designed mainly for combat flight simulation, and that is where you will get the best usage for it. However, that doesn't mean it cannot easily be adapted for other aircraft. To summarize, I believe there is no necessarily right or wrong answer as to which you should buy. Whatever money you do spend, you will get your money's worth and be able to find a product that suits your exact needs or at least find one that you can adapt to your needs. I hope this video has helped give you somewhat of a better idea as to which you would like to purchase. Please don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed watching it and to subscribe to the channel for weekly uploads. Thanks for watching.